Movement in the human body is modulated by the extrapyramidal system, which includes the substantia nigra, subthalamic nucleus, basal ganglia, and thalamus. The extrapyramidal system can either promote or inhibit movement. Let's take a closer look at the key extrapyramidal structures involved in Parkinson's disease. The basal ganglia are two large groups of nerve cells located near the base of the brain, which consist of the caudate, putamen, and globus pallidus. Together, the caudate and putamen form the corpus striatum, or striatum. The substantia nigra is a tiny structure located deep within the brain. There are actually two structures, but they are typically referred to as a single entity in the medical literature. Normal movement depends on adequate levels of the neurotransmitter dopamine produced by cells in the darkly pigmented zona compacta of the substantia nigra and delivered to the striatum and other parts of the brain. Because this motor pathway involves the substantia nigra and the striatum, it is known as the nigrostriatal pathway. The synthesis of dopamine begins with the amino acid tyrosine. Within the neurons of the substantia nigra, tyrosine is converted into levodopa through the action of the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase. Levodopa is converted into dopamine through the action of the enzyme dopa decarboxylase. When signaled by an impulse traveling down the axon to the synapse, dopamine is released into the synaptic cleft. Some of the released dopamine binds to dopamine receptors on the receiving neuron, triggering a signal that is relayed through neurons to the motor center in the cerebral cortex of the brain. This signal eventually travels through the spinal cord to modify activity in muscle cells. Free-floating dopamine in the synaptic gap may be taken back into the neuron that released it and stored for future use in a process called reuptake. It may also be converted into other substances through the action of the enzymes monamine oxidase B, or MAOB, and catechol o methyltransferase or COMT, COMT. Within the striatum, there is a delicate balance between dopamine and acetylcholine, another important neurotransmitter. In patients with Parkinson's disease, there is massive degeneration of dopamine-producing cells in the substantia nigra. The dopamine supply to the striatum is gradually reduced. This disrupts the balance between dopamine and acetylcholine, resulting in a relative excess of acetylcholine. When 60% to 80% of dopamine-producing cells in the substantia nigra are damaged, the extrapyramidal system loses the ability to effectively promote movement, and the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease, such as resting tremor, rigidity, bradykinesia, and postural instability, begin to appear. Therefore, a primary objective of pharmacologic therapy of Parkinson's disease is to increase dopamine levels in the brain.